late 80s. Played here in 1987 against one Stephen Bardo. <laughs> yeah, we had a good time visiting with that. Who knows that? He knew that was going to be the case with this young team. There were going to be growing pains. That's right. And so you, at times you'll see uh, T.J. Shannon playing the point. I think that they were encouraged by their coach to do so. Yes. Shannon to the other end. He is fouled. Grad getting the chance to play in his home. Set play. Put the ball possibly in the post area. Shannon on the attack with the left hand. And he got the kind since that time pulled far away. A 14-2 run to stretch the lead. And Shannon at three more. Ball got baited by the crowd. He still had time. Rushed that shot. And the student section claims one there. Shannon going end to end. Oh, and the finish. Four, three of six from three. And Shannon full game numbers for a lot of people. They'd be very happy with those. Shannon wants more at the foul line. He'll get more. Nice. Ooh, yeah, Miles Foster mm -hmm. strong underneath. Yeah, put the little chicken wing in the danger to create the space. I like it. Shannon with the crossover slithers inside. And how strong the middle is is probably going to be how strong the Big Ten is. I agree with you. But they're not all going to be a 30-point no. game at halftime. No. But I'll be impressed to see if they can continue this intensity out of the halftime break. That's a good start. Yes. The squad is so impressive. Oh, danger. Strong work in the post. Ball caroms out to Melendez. He'll push it up the floor to Shannon. Shannon on the move all the way to the rim. New high. Shannon looking for three. Off the heel. Got his own rebound. Shannon inside. Count them up. Oh. Oh. They're getting more, much more, more efficient than that. And Shannon with a steal. Looked like it stuck to his hand, and then he was going up to hammer. Mm -hmm. 